So here we are in the part of ex uh, <sighs> Right, here we go. Hey guys, Francis here today and I'm going to show you how I edit my Instagram pictures. So over here I've got my Canon 450D, next to that I've got my S7 Edge, next to that I've got a couple of SD cards and then USB adapters. So let's get right into it. So here we are, we're in the part of extracting pictures from my phone. So obviously my phone is here and then you got other things here, the OTG cable and then the SD card to USB converter and then you got the SD card over there. So first things first, you get the OTG converter adapter otherwise and you just put it right here. There we go. And then your screen will pop up, obviously. And then you get your other converter here, so that the full size USB that goes down here. Then the screen will pop up again. Then you take that. Then you put it down here. Then you'll get a notification. There you go. And then you got your other device down here. So where I get my pictures are from the SD card up here. So I would get it from here. And then here. And then here. And then just select the pictures that I want and then three dot and copy then select this and then here and then done so now they're in there they're good to go so go back go down to the notification and then unmount so it's basically like eject okay cool now it's good to go so I just take this off this off as well. Alright, so we're good. So now let's go on to showing you how I edit on my Mac. Hey guys, so here we are on my Mac and then um, I'll just insert the SD card. Waiting. Waiting. Okay, this is not good. No, it's not appearing. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> alright, so here's the um, SD card here, so the files, and then here's Photoshop. So, what I usually do is just open it, and then go to Imports from Phone, and then there. It should show the picture. Taking a while. Okay, while that's loading, I'll just go over to Photoshop here. So here you can see that I have my preset file up here. So you can see that it says Instagram preset .psd. and then yeah. So this is my basic, you know, setup for Photoshop and Instagram editing wise. So over here you got the um, background and then it's locked and then I got my copyright here and then my logo there. So yeah, you get the idea. So heading back to the photos, here are the photos that I just taken earlier and they just been retrieved from my phone. So yeah, pretty simple basic stuff. So yeah, so I often choose which one is the best based on how I took it or you know my preference that sort of thing so for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna go with this one or maybe this one no maybe this one mm, yeah I'll go with this one okay cool so then I just drag it over to Photoshop spinning ball of death come on and there you go, and then I just click on enter, and okay cool, then of course sometimes I go over here but then I usually go into the um, 
about this dng editor so it's basically when you have a raw file you have the option to edit your pictures but because this is a jpeg i have a shortcut so for those of you who don't know the shortcut is shift command a come on Make sure you click on the layer that you want to edit on. Okay, so here we are. We're on the camera roll editor. So, yeah. Alright, so the first thing I do is usually crank up the contrast. And then I sometimes crank up the highlight, which sometimes makes it really, really bright and white. But then I've got some overexposed areas, as you can see on the red um, uh, marks here. So, the, yeah, that's that. So, what I tend to do is bring it down a little bit. Or more rather and then I crank up the shadow just to bring up some more details and then crank it up again with the exposure and then yeah so there and then with the white I tend to put it down or up okay so see that's the problem with white so if you put it up you see that it's overexposed so I bring it down cool so there and then with the black there's not much problem so I can literally do it like this or if I want to I can go all the way up but yeah, it looks very plain. So what I tend to do is add some clarity. So if I, yeah, maybe around here-ish. And then drag down the, yeah, probably about that much. And because this is a tutorial, I'm not literally gonna do it properly. But having said that, um, right. Um, and then I increase the saturation a little bit. Sometimes more so, but then this is a tutorial. So I'm probably not gonna do it the way I usually do it but then so maybe around there and then maybe uh, the temperature usually cold but then not too much so you might want to go just above there and then maybe the tent not too much but there ish okay cool and then you go to the uh, tone curve okay. so I usually start down here some people start up there some people start in the middle but I start right here yeah, right there. All right. So I go up, usually down, sometimes, depending on what I work with, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm working with this picture. So I usually start up there, and then I bring the second bit, and then I go down a little bit. Not too much, but then you can see there's some um, HDR effect, which I'm not trying to portray, but it's a tutorial, so I'll just get on with it. So, okay, so yeah, you can see that the overexposed parts are starting to here if I bring it up so yeah that yeah okay not really obvious <laughs> so put it down a little bit all right sit down okay cool so yeah not so much there although just a little tiny bit there but then it's all good and then maybe um no maybe yeah just yeah have it there okay and then I then sometimes come back here again just to make sure everything is all good so exposure wise it's and getting there okay cool and then the black just yeah add a bit some depth to it and then um, yeah so once i'm happy with the picture although some minor defects but other than that it's good i'm good to go however if i really want to change the picture a little bit so i then go over here for the hsl adjustments and that you know changing the colors of the pictures so i usually change the hues which doesn't really change the picture as much unless you're choosing a specific color like maybe oh there we go so the, the, there we go there's the yellow so you can see it changes the yellow of the bamboo tray down here and then the red not so much oh yeah just very little changes but if you're working with a really really saturated picture then you're likely to notice and change so with the aquas you don't see very much but it's this bit here so yeah Just, you know, otherwise so yeah and then i move on to the saturation if i really want to pump up the color so yeah i don't do that uh, zero. okay cool so that's that and then maybe yeah so i barely play with the saturation points the luminance is the one that I usually play with, so yeah, just there, and maybe that. Okay, I think I'm good with the picture, so yeah, so that's that. 
then you see the effects apply on the image. Then I go on to the adjustment layers. So obviously the curve. Again, I start from the bottom down here just to make sure it looks really good. And just to make sure I do it the right way, otherwise, you know, it doesn't look good. But having said that, it's a tutorial, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then the color balance, I usually go to the cyan or sometimes red, depending on the picture, but for this picture obviously it's quite white so I add the cyan a little bit and then sometimes I want to make it warm but then it's just an abstract picture so I tend to go to the blue side and then the magenta here so I go towards the magenta not the green unless said so unless you know the image is yeah different so that's that one and then I go to the well for this picture I don't usually go for the um, hue and saturation but if I have to then I would go to the hue and saturation and maybe tone down the saturation but that makes it a little bit tad boring so I tend to tone it up a little bit just to give it some you know character and so <laughs> uh, next I go to the exposure part, so that's what I usually have on almost all of my pictures. So I make sure that it's on 070 and then sometimes more depending on the picture, but then mostly it's on 070. And then for the upset, I go all the way, no, not there. I think it's, uh, hold on a minute. 05, I think it was 80 or something. No, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, the value. Right. Okay, so there you go. And then it's 80 something. I think that's right. So yeah, that's that. So yeah, not much of a change, but it's there. And then I think that's how I edit my picture. So yeah, you can see it's pretty decent. Not so professional like some other Instagram photographers. But yeah, this is how I edit my pictures. But yeah, you can copy me if you want to, but make sure you don't do it just for the sake of, you know, being popular. But if you have your own taste, then please do use that rather than copying other people. But yeah, having said that, that's how I edit my picture. So once I've done all the adjustment layers, I then select all of the layers. So. Then command G and then double click to name it. So I usually name it double one. Then I use command uh, front bracket, done, do it twice, and then there you go. So the other layers then appear, and then I click on this blue, nope, here. So then that gives it the white um, color. Now you can see it. But it depends on the picture. If the picture is really, really, really bright, I guess, I have the black one. But the opposite, then it's, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, that's how I edit my picture on Photoshop. Although I do use Lightroom. But for the sake of this tutorial, I don't use Lightroom. But I will show you the next time I do this tutorial. Anyway, um, having that done, all right, cool. So. I save it as another PSD file so of course you can use the shortcut shift command s but for the sake of the tutorial I'm gonna do it this way so here we go so I'm gonna call this um, plants oops plants 2019 tutorial for now and then I'll save it there just to make sure I have the copy and then I can edit it later if I wanted to so once it's saved right down here it's gonna take a while uh, okay nearly there nearly there 
Okay, cool. So after that, I then go in here and go to export, export as. Well, of course you can save it as a JPEG, but that doesn't really export the whole thing for me in that case. So I usually export it this way as opposed to saving the whole thing as a JPEG. So anyway, I go up here on the final settings on the format, then I go to JPEG. And yes, it is taking a while to render everything. <laughs> that's done I will usually okay cool so that's done and then I will go over to export all then uh, go to oops JPEG versions of design that's the folder that I call it so yeah that 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 so make sure it's in JPEG which is right here and then you're in the right folder where you want to save it and you save it again pictures make sure you check these and uh, give it a like so yeah that's that one and this one so anyway uh let's go to the finished um, picture that i just edited earlier so it's in here and it's there so i just drag it over and then i'm done so now it's there then all i have to do is just eject it This video, huh? Okay, just okay. That's good. All right, and thank you. All right, and then that's how I edit my picture. Now I'm gonna show you how I do the same thing that I did earlier, but importing it onto my phone. So here we are again with my phone. So let's get to it. So again, I start with the OTG adapter. There. Then I open this. And then go over here. Yep, got it. And then take this. And then I put it here. Okay, the notification. So I open it. Go to edit. Then I click and hold. Then I usually go up here to uh, yeah, copy. Then go over to internal storage and it's this one and this one and I think I do that yeah that's it so that's that so Hope you like this video guys um, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this and um, yeah see you in the next video